What is up my dude and dudettes, and welcome back to TellerTube. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the subreddit r slash choosing beggars. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. With that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Supplies for the party needed. They should be sent to school by Wednesday, October 22nd. The donuts may come in the day of the party. In general, I am not a fan of getting these party food supplies at the dollar store. A grocery store will have larger bag and boxes of items, and I'd prefer a brand name on many of the items. For example, Bratch's Candy Corn versus a dollar store generic brand candy corn. The one exception is the bags of popped popcorn. Dollar store popcorn will do fine. Hey, Rockstar Games. What about not giving us free 10-year-old games with a pre-order next time? It's totally useless. Yeah, how dare you give me two incredibly high-quality games for free? Shame on you. <laughs> I would like to buy your mini-fridge for $20. It's still around if you do. That was an accident, dumb butt. I was on my husband's page earlier. This is called OfferUp. I can afford a hundred of these. I don't need it. I was trying to see how the site works. But looking at your profile pic, you need the money bad for a haircut. And kids some teeth, so I will give you $2.50, Booger, for some more meth. <laughs> ah, so you're that person. Still mad, I wouldn't sell you an old fridge for five bucks off. My roommates and I are in need of a couch. No, we are not going to pay for your used couch. Like selling your dirty underwear. So please, if you need your old couch gone, hit me up. Please, no smoking or big hairy pets. We will come pick it up ASAP. Can pay up to 75 bucks, but must be in absolute pristine new condition. Yeah, that's right, you heard it. Brand new. So I live in the bumfrick middle of nowhere. My mom called and said the church down the street was having a yard sale and we should go check it out. Turns out it was not a yard sale. Everything was free. I asked if they were at least requiring a donation and they said since the town is really low income, they just want to give stuff away and help out. Neat. They had beautiful dishes, tea sets, toys, books, lots of clothes, etc. This was its second day so a lot of the stuff was already gone. I got two cookbooks, a brand new curling iron, some toys my daughter picked out, a shirt, and a cardigan. I told them I would be back soon with some cash. I go to the gas station, pull out some cash, and go back to the church. There is a chick screaming at the two old ladies holding the giveaway. Where is the good stuff? I don't freaking need used clothes. The old women were trying to say they were just trying to give back to the community by giving away donations they had received. You're just trying to push used crap on me. I know you have stuff in the back. I really had to say something and asked if there was a problem. Did I really have to call the cops because someone was harassing the church because their free stuff wasn't to their standards? They left in a huff and I felt really bad for the two women. Who knows what kind of people they had dealt with the past couple days. Free clothes? Pfft, that's pathetic. It's not fair you're making me pay, I'm family. Okay, so my cousin just turned 17 and has a job. Now, he was looking for an Xbox One a few months ago and I had offered selling him my station. But he denied because he wanted the newer system and not my old used system. He wanted the Xbox One X, not the regular Xbox One. So my Xbox stays at my parents' house until I can sell it along with all my games. My parents invited my brother, myself, my aunt, uncle, and cousins over and my cousin was looking through my games. He noticed I had Black Ops 3, Call of Duty, World War 2, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare, and Overwatch and he was so happy. He began asking me if he could have them. I told him he could borrow them, but I'd prefer if he bought them off me. I was selling them for 25 bucks a game and told him if he wanted them to give me the cash. Then stuff went down. What? You're expecting me to pay for them? We're cousins, just give me them. No, I understand we're cousins, but I bought all these games and played them a lot. I'm charging you half of what I paid for them. Maybe between 50 and 60 bucks a game. So that's why I was selling them for 25 each. You can pay for them or you can go buy them yourself. I don't have money on me. If I take these, I can pay you the next time I see you. Me damn well no he won't. No, I will give you the games when you pay me for them. That was it, for now. The night went on and as my family was leaving, I noticed four games were gone. I asked my brother if he put them away and he told me no. And I saw my cousin trying to leave in a hurry. Hey, have you seen those games I showed you earlier? 
No. Well, they're gone, and my bro doesn't know where they are. Huh, that's weird. Well, I should get going. And I crap you... <laughs> and I crap you not, one of the games fell out from under his hoodie. Just out the bottom. He looked embarrassed before handing me over all of the games. You're never allowed to buy a game off me now. You just tried to steal these. That's not fair. We're cousins. You shouldn't charge me for the games. Just give them to me since we're family. His parents eventually made him apologize and said he was grounded from his system for a while, and he was pissed at me. $85. How does 90 sound? I'll do 85 if you pick it up today. Can't today. Too far. Where are you located and when could you? I mean, it should be 80 considering it's a 45 minute trip plus fuel and toll. <laughs> Mate, it's your choice to buy this. You have to factor in that yourself. 90 is the lowest I will go. Who has a size 12 basketball sneaker good quality that they can give me for a player who is growing every six months? LeBron's, KD's, Kyrie's, PG's, etc. are all good options. Your help is appreciated. Stopped on the side of the road downtown, my car was approached by two men who claimed they were cold and hungry. I prefer not to give cash and instead offered to purchase them a meal in the local area. They became irritated and insisted upon cash so they could have the food they want and not have it chosen for them by a stranger. They told me that it's cash or nothing because they want to choose a meal they'd enjoy. I again said that I'm happy to buy a meal but will not give cash. And they flipped me off and walked away. At least come up with a better fake reason for wanting cash than just acting picky. So I work at a pizza place in Canada and encountered this lovely lady earlier today. She called up and ordered a large pepperoni pizza. I told her the total, 15, yeah I know, but what could I do? And the following ensued. No, I refuse to pay that amount for a pizza. Okay, well I'll cancel your order then. I still want the pizza and I am on my way to get it. But I am just informing you that I will not pay that amount. Well, that's the amount, and if you don't want to pay for it, then unfortunately I can't make it for you. Why not? I'll see you in 10 minutes. And then hangs up. So I stand there and wait for the lady to arrive, and when she does, I inform her that I did not make her pizza, as I cannot just give food away. She starts screaming at me. I offered to make her a small one, which was within her budget, but that wasn't good enough, so she stormed out. Just would love to know if she goes to restaurants, grocery stores, hair salons, anywhere, and is as rude. Because lady, I could have put a coupon on it for you if you hadn't been so rude from the start. Hi, I'm interested. Please contact me if it's still available. Hey, it's still available. Anything you'd like to know, don't hesitate to ask. Hey, I'm looking to buy my son a guitar for Christmas. He had a heart surgery in September and we wanted to treat him. Yours is out of my price range and was hoping you were flexible on the price and I'm in Toronto. Are you willing to deliver? Thanks. What price were you thinking? I recently dropped the price from 900. Meeting up in Toronto is a bit rough. I am a couple hours out. I do have it posted on Reverb as well with free shipping if that helps out. Here's the link. Thanks for getting back to me. It's a beautiful guitar. It's just too much. Could you do 300? I promised my son and it would make his day having it. I would rather you deliver since it might not come in time. You want me to travel two hours to you and take nearly a third of my asking price. Wow lad, you might as well just give it to them for free now. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button as it would really help me out. Subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.